calling all bird lovers, or more specifically, puffin lovers. The Audubon Society is asking for help from avian enthusiasts on a new project to save the Atlantic puffins in coastal Maine. Known for their colorful beaks and clown-like appearance, there are only 1,000 pairs of the seabirds left in Maine. And the Audubon says the number of the puffin chicks has declined in the last two years, most likely due to their food source leaving the area for cooler waters. But with the help of a puffin cam, Audubon officials like Steve Kress are able to keep tabs on key puffin habitats. Explore.org, an LA-based nonprofit that runs dozens of wildlife web cameras, is helping too. So we began this great collaboration in 2012, in which we put three puffin cameras, high definition cameras on puffin on the puffin nesting island called Seal Island National Wildlife Refuge. Volunteers are being asked to watch the feeds and help answer questions about the puffins' daily behavior. This year, the Audubon is focusing their efforts on one puffin chick in particular that they've named Pal. And little puffin Pal seems to be thriving and we're documenting it. And we're hoping that the food supplies remain strong and the puffin Pal heads off to sea into the North Atlantic probably in about two weeks. While the puffins provide hours of entertainment for bird fans and volunteers alike, Crest thinks the project will teach a greater lesson on wildlife. So this, this offers me great hope that people everywhere can help us uh, as we learn about puffins and through these cameras we can learn about how climate has affected the well-being of seabirds on remote islands. The camera has already attracted more than four million views since its installation giving bird watching a whole new meaning. Emily Roseman, The Associated Press.